Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Age of Legends. No, Age of Legends. No, that's the game I wrote. This is Endless Legend. And I've been thinking about faction quests, because we really should probably get stuck back on doing this one again. Bounty of Riga. Our objective? Produce nine influence in one city for ten turns. So, let's track that one. And go to Madinav. So we're producing six at the moment. Eight. Nine. There we go. So we're producing ten influence. This should tick up quite nice and quickly. Settler in two turns. Reasonable amount of cash. You've got a fair amount of movement available. Poop out to there just briefly for me. Thank you. And now you're out of move. So you're at sea, so well, we'll see. We'll see what you're like at sea. Right, and let's end turn 62. I'm going to stare at those numbers and see if they heal or not when you're in a city. They do. So, I am... Hideous Hydra object. I will not be getting too close to that. Can I? You are your movement points back? Yes. It's obviously uh, unsupported village ruins. All right, so you're there. So in the city of Holkar, we have three units of infantry. Okay. I'm not going to get any closer, but I'm going to fall back. that sleep. No, I'm happy with you as you are. I'm going to give you guys another turn to heal. Computing. Construction complete. A settler. Thank you very much. In Madanav. Make that a new army. We're currently at minus two. It's the city. You have six points of move. Okay, well, let's head up at least as far as our border. All right, so I was hoping I could get stuck in doing something else further south of my war, but it looks like I need to take care of you first. Uh, no, don't bring the settler in. I'm pretty happy to bring these guys in as well. Start with a whole position, please, and ready to fight. Okay. Let's spread the army out in such a way that we can always get a nice amount of charging going. I am ready. Yep. Sign units. Did their orders. Let's put everyone on two. Leave you on hold position. Defensive on the militia. Put everyone on to aggressive. And tell them all to charge him. And we'll see how much damage we get done over time. Launch. Five points of damage. Another five points of damage without any retaliation. Slight terrain debt penalty there. You're going to charge up. Finish him off. Missed. It's unhelpful. The guy is completely surrounded now. And you're going to move up into the final scap. Attack. Get traded blows. Ah, looks like I should have put my hero on aggressive because apparently he doesn't have the greatest amount of range. Fine. Attack. Just everyone. Just wait on the guy. He's going to go last. So I suspect he's going to trade some blows. And we get our squaddies running around. Get that bonus. I don't think about cavalry it's moving around for the uh, ability to get better positioning and the rest of it. Just helps. Nice. 
Let's get you rid of before our hero even got a chance to attack. Army forms up again. 3.2 XP. You are very close to yet another level up. Okay, so you can now carry on just that little bit further. And how far can you get? Right, and you've got a quite an impressive amount of range and vision. Done. Okay. And you're there. I'm happy with you on that positioning. There are some more pearls I could go and get. Speaking of pearls. Immediate vision, vision winter penalties, but something I have to build. That's interesting. A load of bonus things from water. Pearls to change form. Unlock pearl accessories. Yes. I will have pearl based accessories. Let's uh, go to my hero. What can we build with pearl accessories? Retaliation deflector? Ice Walker, Auroga Infinity, a Retaliation Boost. Okay, well, I put in that was Retaliation Boost, 10% Retaliation Damage. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to leave just now. The other one was Ice Walker, which. Minus two percent movement on rivers and ice shelves. Auroga Affinity. Plus three XP when collecting pearls. Plus more pearls when finding them. And finally, Auroga's Wrath. Retaliation Boost. Oh, okay, I'm not going to make any of those changes. Leave this screen. I am sure I want to leave that screen. I am ever going to pick up my army list and have a look at my sky fins. Edit that. Retaliation deflector, ice walker, winter attribute immunity. Nice. But what have you, what can you carry? Ice walker. You can't actually carry the thing that picks up pearls. Hmm. Okay. Well, in the interim, let's give you some titanium 2 equipment. Improved vision and sharp sense. Improved damage. Minor faction slayer. Improved movement. Glory or death? What does glory or death do? Plus one more health as every adjacent enemy. Okay. Let's just do improved damage. Okay. So, it'll cost me that much when I want to make them. Skyfin 5. Fair enough. I am happy with that. Oh, right. So, my Seeker's got an extra bit of equipment as well. Let's improve movement 2. Glory or death. We improved damage, which does plus twenty percent damage. All right, happy with that. While we're here, what have you got carrying? It's the infantry slayer. Titanium version of that. Titanium shield. Titanium helm. Titanium armor. Titanium boots. Titanium boots. Titanium boots. So you cost quite a lot of titanium to make, but you are pretty nails. And apply that to you for the Seeker 4 class. Nice. So, I'm very interested to know. You do heal a little bit when you're out in the field. Okay. Retrofitting would cost me a lot of money and probably far more titanium than I could possibly imagine. So, I am looking at settling. What's this? 
That was F for that resources, wasn't it? Okay. Not that much food in this area, so I think I'm probably going to have to settle here. Actually, no, just straight on that snowy field will give us the best bit. So... You're going to pick up a pearl on your way past. And I'm going to risk leaving you be for now. Come back to the city. See how much movement that gives leave you end up spare after that. Okay, next to that, which means it's ideal for me to leave you there. You're going to grow. Research complete. Next research, coinage. Resource and stop in the marketplace. Okay, that'll be fine. Losing a little bit of money. Hero leveled up. Okay, let's go to the Empire screen. Luxury resources. Emeralds. Plus 5 happiness, plus 30 points for vacation. Plus 30 happiness. Okay, fair enough. Four turns. You're still making 10 influence. Settler in five. Needs glass steel. Also needs glass steel. Okay. And we have a hero level up. Cytos Bright Slash. So I gave the squirrel thing for extra movement. So it's searching. Nor terrain penalties. What's this one give us? Bribe costs. You are plus one vision on the army. XP per turn on units. Recovery speed on disabled. Cheaper costs on that. Um, yeah, give me that. Actually, what's this one? Extra accessories. That's it. I don't need the vision. I've got plenty of vision as it is. Apply. Yes, thank you very much. Mercenary market, Imperial coin. Okay, fair enough. That's spying, which we're not doing right now. Ticked our turnover. You're in pretty good shape. Let's move up. And see if we can't get a bit of vision on the enemy. If they come out to attack me, I will take that because they'll be attacking me. Again, only three units. Just come in and have a look at the pearl. Take that pearl, then do a fallback. And I am happy. So next turn we'll be smashing into the city of Holkaj. Hopefully eliminating them. Construction complete. Okay, so Ipidan has indeed expanded significantly, so it's now making 25 food. And so we've got a net uh, yeah, a total of 25 food coming in because we basically put a load more, three more food producing tiles on it, so it should grow in 12 or so turns. I'm happy with the growth of it. Glory of the Empire. More influence. Costs a bit, so we don't have that much in the way of cash. So now we've got more cash coming in. That's good to see. Chapel of Oregon, Minor Village. Chapel of Rebuilt Village. Plus one. It doesn't cost any upkeep, it does cost me 10 pearls. It's 14 pearls and expansion to the city. Put a chapel of rogue queued over here. Let's uh, just keep growing, shall we? So that's science and cash. Any. That's the border of the region, isn't it? So we point going that way. Let's turn you on permanently so I can have a look. So, I mean, heading that way would probably help. I mean, there's not there's any actually any interesting terrain around here, so I should at least try and get ones that are going to give me some food as we go on outwards. And then we'll probably... ...pew that and then that. Or not. Let's just... Uh Rebuilt village. 
That's slightly pacified, doesn't it? Doesn't it let like you burn down? Okay, that's fine. Was that the turn? Yes, it was. Okay, so... First up, Unspoiled Ruins. Uh, cancel. I wanted you to build a city right there. So that give me two food to start with and quite quickly it should grow. Yeah, we're ready to assimilate, so... This city, Freyheim, starts off with two pop. They're both working cash. I'd rather it was growing. Hmm? Alright, it's three turns to starvation. Okay. That's ten turns to growth. Let's put the district expansion on. Is what I want first and foremost. That's uh, cash. That's food. Take no significant amount of time. That will give us more food. That will give us more food. Not much point in building that just yet. We'll worry about it in a bit. Yep, okay, I'm happy with that. But ready to assimilate. Hers. Jotus and the Delvers. Giving us a heavy infantry unit. Now, if I double check correctly, it is indeed the Delvers who are this area's persons. Delvers assimilate. Has that happened? We assimilated them now? Yes, yes, we have. Okay, so I was expecting that to immediately give me a pop boost. But we shall see in a bit. You're also Delvers, aren't you? My village. Didn't attack. Oh, well, just means my troops will be just a little bit more healed. Legendary building constructed by somebody else. Fine. Moving enemy units. Okay. Doesn't look like you are as pacified. Okay. I thought that pacified all the regions. I just bribed one of them. Okay. Looks like this might go very wrong. That's a lot of enemy up there. Do I have the cash? Run forty-six. No. Okay. Let's um. What are you? A pair of dredges versus my very useless infantry. Damn, this is about to go horribly, horribly wrong. So, in the balance of the fact that we might lose that city, let's attack this one. Yep, I'm happy with that. Start aggressive. Happy with the deployment. You're all at reduced health for some reason. Just slaughter them. Ah, cavalry bonus apparently. Didn't help you too much with that strike. Uh, okay, so the white section is the bonus health they're getting from the fact that they are. Alright, so yeah, no, oh, that's the fortification bonus they're getting. I should boost my little military guys who are further up. Should get an extra 
chunk of health from the fact that their city is being fortified. Alright, I have no idea what it was you just did then, but so be it. Um, focus fire, if you please. Running around behind them to stab them in the back. Because they've already used up their turn through the damage. And so I have got guys just running around not doing anything because they're trying to get in position. I can weather that. Yeah, so let's um, let the AI do that. Because while I would like to focus fire, if I don't get them actually killed, or the units come out in the wrong order, I end up with a situation where my guys just go, Oh, well, I didn't know you wanted me to do something else. I'm just going to run over here and not do anything useful. So it's got to move, and then see if they can attack. They move as close as they can, and then it runs an attack routine. Which is not necessarily exactly what I want. Yep, thank you very much. What's that? Igloo lava. Ooh, strange kind of worm. And now I own that city. Yay. So it will take it quite a while before it becomes pacified. I can't actually hurt you just yet, so you go back to here. You... Hold that position for a bit. Alright, so militia do regenerate over time. Your objective is to rush the holy hell up here next turn. Hold jazz will lose population. Okay, it's on minus one at the moment, now it's on plus four. Leave it on production, you're still not producing anything. What's this? Glass steel deposit. Oh, I will happily take that. Um, is there anything else you can build? Glory of the Empire, influence. That helps, treasure unit. Can't build a guard because I don't have the pearls. You might as well just get building on that and then we'll find some more pearls later. When the winter comes. More pearls down there. Find snakes. 240. This is my 331. Hmm. Hold your ground just briefly. Valid prerequisite. Okay. No idea what the prerequisite was. Empire defeated. Yep. Population evolution. It was dropped to three due to starvation. Well, there wasn't anything I could really do about that. Anyway, the dude who was wandering around has gone away. I'm going to leave my skyfin here just until I actually get a unit. And you didn't actually attack. Okay, that's fine. We need to go and talk to these guys and see what they're up to. It's a unique building. Okay. So if I can't have it there, hmm, I probably prefer to have it in here. So the Husbandry Center, maybe mm -hmm. it once in your empire. Okay, well, let's just. 
No, okay, well it's made some progress on it. I won't see what happens next turn now I have uh, this bit particularly... No, you're not making any production whatsoever. So, having conquered the mages, we will call that an episode. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset, this has been Endless Legends. We have grown a lot now that we've got two more cities, three more cities over the course of the, these last couple of episodes. We're in a position where we are much more of a threat. So our goal at the moment is to look at getting that extra city in to Wishel, which will be in three turns. We have that city popped up. We're going to be sticking that over in here. And then we're going to be looking at pushing forward on our main quest, because that's the uh, victory edition we're going for, is a quest ending. So I think I'm in a position now where I am much less worried about this lot. Once we're, we can start getting some cash and get some buildings built up in these two places, I'll be much happier. And then we'll start looking at see if we'll be hiring another hero unit and looking at putting together another army just to basically keep pace with the enemy so we don't get outmatched. So I'm going to be one army of questing, one army of lurking. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.